For more than 100 years, the DeLong Company has provided products and services to the agriculture industry. But it's their extensive commercial grain and food grade program that has made them an industry leader for ag exports. We went to DeLong's facilities in eastern Kansas to hear more about containerized shipping. The DeLong Company is a family-owned uh, company. They've been around for over 100 years. They're mainly out of uh, Clinton, Wisconsin, so they have elevators in nor uh, northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin. And about 10 to 11 years ago, they uh, started in the container business and that's really expanded their business over the time. And so we now have facilities in Omaha, here in Edgerton, we got, have one in New Jersey, and some other facilities, and we're starting some outside the United States as well. When it comes to container shipping, Hanny told us it usually requires tighter specifications with limitations on blending, but it also may allow exporters to get into new market locations that are not able to unload bulk vessels. The other nice thing is, is with our containers, we we're able to get to specific customers with across seas and also help out with the uh, shipping of containers back to a, to a foreign country that it's, it has, instead of going back empty, it's going back with a, a high quality grain from the Midwest here. Any producer that comes in here, they will come in and they'll go on our truck sale and we'll, we'll sample their grain, just like any other elevator, and, and probe it and uh, give, give them a grade on it. And then from there, they uh, go over to our dump pit area and, they, and they're able to unload. And we're, we can dump a semi in about six minutes here. So it's a pretty in and out process. And we try to keep our lines moving pretty quickly. Once it goes from there, it can either go to one of our bins we have behind us here, which uh, we don't have a large quantity of bins, but and then eventually it goes right onto our um, containers. It's weighed and put onto a container. And from there, it gets sampled again by the Kansas Grain Inspector. So, um, so uh, that's kind of the basic process. The grain is not here very long. We're moving grain out of, in and out. So if it comes and dumps one day, it's more than likely on a container by the end of the day or by the next day. With its transcontinental railroad, the BNSF Intermodal Facility provides businesses with a direct connection to the global supply chain. Located in the grain producing areas of the Midwest makes it ideal for expansion. The biggest factor is, is that the, the rail yard has is, is built this facility here and they're expanding. We are putting 21 warehouses right around this area and that's going to bring a lot, of in, a lot of containers with products coming from overseas into this area and then there'll be a lot of empty containers to go back. And so we'll be right here, we'll be able to just accept those containers from those warehouses once they've been unloaded and be able to take them back to the rail yard and ship out a product back to a foreign country from here in the mid mid Midwest. Products shipped out of this facility include soybeans, sorghum, and dried distiller grains. One of the larger customers is China, which has recently stepped up its demand for sorghum. Sorghum farmers across the U.S. have certainly seen a great opportunity with the recent surge in demand for exports, particularly with China market. And when we see companies like DeLong, they've really transformed basis in local areas. So as we look across the sorghum belt, areas that have access to infrastructure to get to the export market have seen a surge in their basis. Right here in this area where DeLong is, traditionally we've seen anywhere from 20 to 40 under the board. Right now we're 70 cents over the board. So we're talking meaningful dollars going back to the producer. China exports, in fact, are around $1.2 billion just in the last marketing year came back to the U.S. sorghum farmer. Sorghum is a natural fit right now for the China market. China has a robust feed grain demand, over 13 billion bushels. Of that, 600 million approximately will be imported in. There are a number of policies for China currently in their import market. They're prohibiting other feed grains from entering into that, whether that be quota or trade acceptance. So as such, the sorghum industry has been able to take advantage and over 60% of the U.S. sorghum crop was imported, was exported to China just last year. While containerized shipping has changed the way identity preserved grain and other ag products are exported, it's the flexibility it provides customers that has opened the door to new markets. Reporting from Edgerton, Kansas, I'm Janelle Ost for This Week in Agribusiness.